deputy allegedly on call for sex. This man already already facing attempted murder charges and now investigators claim he also moonlighted as a prostitute. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska joins us live from Sarasota with a bizarre twist here. Michael. Wendy, when you go through this internal affairs report, it's absolutely unbelievable what you're reading. Things happening while he was on duty in his patrol vehicle. He's still here at the county jail tonight, and this investigation really is just getting started. Our cameras were the only ones there as Sarasota detectives seized Frankie Bybee's truck from his Bradenton home. Investigators say it could have evidence related to the attempted murder of 83-year-old Marcia Soule. Sheriff Tom Knight says Bybee befriended Soul last year during a call to her home. The sheriff says he then took advantage of the 83-year-old, sold her dog on Craigslist, and used her debit card at multiple ATMs to withdraw money from her accounts. One withdrawal was even in uniform. While that part of the investigation has led to 10 new felony charges against Bybee, an internal affairs report shows a woman paid Bybee more than $100,000 over several years for sex. According to the report, Bybee even performed sex acts in his patrol unit on duty to send to the woman, who would in turn deposit cash into a PayPal account. All of this unraveling as Sarasota investigators dig deeper into the life of the married father of three who the sheriff says tried to commit murder to cover up his tracks. Bybee mounted the victim and while holding her down, forced prescription medication into her mouth. The victim lost consciousness and when she awoke, she summoned help. Bybee's bond initially was more than $1 million. Today, a judge decided to drop it to $365,000. People we spoke to in both the neighborhoods affected by this story told us that they are extremely concerned now that he will post that bond. And apparently there are some people trying to help him raise that money. We're live here tonight at the Sarasota County Jail. Michael Bluska, ABC Action News.